friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using Lawn Fawns on the Beach and Flamingo together. I'm going to be watercoloring with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. So I am stamping my images out in Versafine Onyx Black ink and I'm using some Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock. I'm going to treat that cardstock with a powder tool before I stamp that down just to eliminate any static cling and I am going to ink those up twice so I can get a really good impression. Then I'm going to coat these with clear embossing powder and heat set them until they're all dark and shiny. You could skip the embossing step if you wanted to, but I just like how dark and uh, shiny it makes the black lines and it also creates a little well which makes it really easy for you to stay inside the lines while you're watercoloring. So like I mentioned, I'm coloring with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers today. I'm starting with number 025 pink for my flamingo. So I put a little bit of color where I want my shadows to be, and then I am pulling out that color with some clean clear water and a number two round paintbrush. And this is from the Silver Black Velvet Company. So I am just going to move that color around until I create some shadows and some highlights. And then I'm going to move on and color in one little section of my beach ball. Since it's nice and quick, I thought I'd go ahead and include the whole process today. So I'm just going to pull that color from either end so that I create a nice highlight in the center. Next, I'm going to use number 070 orange and I'm going to add some color to the next section of my beach ball and to the uh, little starfish. So again, just adding it to the top and bottom edge of the beach ball section and then pulling towards the center so I have that highlight. And then for the starfish, I'm just pulling to the left. Next, I'm using 050 yellow and I'm just using a little bit on the tip of that section of beach ball and then I colored in the straw in the drink completely. And then 041 light green is the next section and also the little umbrella that's sticking out of the drink. So you can see I'm kind of working through my images in rainbow order. The next section is 031 cobalt blue, which is really more of an aqua or turquoise blue to me but um, that's what the name says on the marker. So that's what I put up on the screen. And I did another section of beach ball and the little clamshell. And then I'm going to go on to 082 purple. Now on screen, once these were blended, it looked very similar to the pink that I use, but in person, there's quite a bit of difference. It was more noticeable. So just finishing off that little beach ball and I decided to do the conch shell with that color as well. It was getting a little bit dark on that conch shell. So once I have my highlight blended on the beach ball, I'm going to add quite a bit of water and blend that out. And then I'm also going to grab some paper towel and just kind of dab a little bit of that color off so I can move what's left of the pigment around. For the coconut drink, I'm using number 065 mid brown, and I'm just coloring down the right hand side and then pulling that color across, and doing a little bit on the inside lip as well. I'll use 090 gray for the flamingo's beak, and I ended up just coloring that in completely and then blending that with a little bit of water. And then to finish off, I'm going to grab 032 Persian Blue to do the center of the beach ball. And then I'll trim all these out with the matching dies once they've dried. For my background, I'm going to take another piece of the Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock and I'm going to blend on some Distress Ink. So the color that I'm using first is Peacock Feathers. And I really like using this cardstock for Distress Ink because it blends so nice and easy on it. So I'm trying to concentrate the color a little bit more in the bottom right curve of that circle and then let it kind of fade off into white in all the other areas. So I'm just putting a little bit of extra ink down in that area and then just making sure to kind of 
swirl it around the other edges so it fades off. Then I'm going to darken that up by adding a little bit of Mermaid Lagoon and I'm only adding it down in that right curve uh, there at the bottom. And then I went back to my peacock feathers to just help that blend together. And now I'm adding some uh, antique linen distress ink. I wanted to create a little bit of a sandbar there. Um, it wasn't quite dark enough, so I did go in with some gathered twigs to deepen that up. So I'm just adding a, the barest amount because I don't want it to get too heavy handed. I wanted it to just be nice and soft there and kind of blend into the water's edge of what I'm creating here. I'm going to go back to my Mermaid Lagoon and just go over that transition area a little bit more and then back to the peacock feathers as well so that I have a really nice seamless blend. Once I'm happy with it, I'll grab my Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer and give that a couple spritzes, blot that up with a paper towel. I'm going to blend a little bit more ink because I felt like those water droplets were a little bit too big for what I was going for. And then I'm going to repeat the process with some more spritzing and just blotting that up with the paper towel. While that's drying, I'm going to work on my sentiment. So I've got a piece of scrap black cardstock that I popped into my Misty, and I'm treating that with my EK Success powder tool once again, just to eliminate any static cling. Then I'm stamping down my sentiment with Versamark ink, and I'm going to coat that in some white embossing powder. Then I can heat set that until that's nice and shiny and then I'm going to trim those down into two strips. While I have my Misty out, I'm also going to stamp on the inside of my card. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Peacock ink to stamp down the other Flamingo from Flamingo Together, and the Sentiment and Sand are from On the Beach. So I trimmed down my focal panel with the Lawn Fawn Outside In Stitch Rectangle Stackables. And that takes off about an eighth of an inch on all four sides so that you get that nice border with your cardstock showing through from your card base. And this is a standard size card, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I've gone ahead and popped up my sentiment strips on some foam tape. So I want to get those placed how I want them first. I'm not going to press those down too firmly until I have everything arranged but I um, just want to make sure that I have those situated so that I can center my images around the sentiment. I'm starting with my flamingo since she's my largest and I kind of wanted to have her accentuating that sentiment as much as possible, having her head kind of curve around between the two parts of the strips. And then I'm going to add the larger images spaced out in kind of a semicircle. And then between those, I'm going to add the starfish and the two shells. I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting, which I can do because I didn't press down that foam tape very hard yet. Um, once I'm happy with where everything is, then I can go ahead and press down firmly to make sure that everything is adhered well to the card. I ended up deciding that I wasn't quite happy with where the sentiment was. I felt like everything was a little bit too low on the card and that the uh, open space up at the top was just a little bit too predominant. So I did go ahead and pull up those sentiment strips carefully. It did tear up the cardstock under the seize the day part, so I had to kind of work with that and make sure that I covered that up. But um, I did pull up the it's your birthday a little bit higher so that the space was a little bit more full up there and it just felt more balanced to me. So that is going to complete my card for today. I'll lift that up to the camera and give you another peek at the inside. So hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have your support. And you can also leave me a comment down below. Is anybody else still using their zigs? I just wondered, I haven't seen too much of them lately, but I'm still having fun with mine. 
If you'd like to keep on watching, here's two extra videos I thought you might also enjoy, so you can just click on those. And I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.